Hello, hello everyone. This is Chaff Commander Coffee, back with another episode of Civilization IV Realism Invictus. In our game as Mongolia, we are doing pretty nicely. I know we've spent quite a few episodes living on our little continent, our paradise world of of plague and really oversized cities and having an awful economy, but it is all in aid of our inevitable conquest of the rest of the world. And we edge ever closer as we finish our research of alchemy and astrology. Now the most important thing is that we have sulfur. If we don't have sulfur, we are going to have to find some. Do we have sulfur? Yes we do, perfect. I do not want all of you workers to build a fort. In fact, I want you workers to build a mine because we need that. Um, and we have some sulfur up here. But it's outside of our cultural borders and it probably will be for quite some time. Um, if we didn't have any sulfur, uh, I did notice there is some here. Which would be perfectly fine. Building a small colony here. Right there, for example. Uh, just to nab that. I would totally build a colony there for the purposes of gunpowder. Uh, because gunpowder makes building colonies a lot easier. Um, also makes taking them a lot easier as well. Um, but yes, sulfur is a crucial resource in Realism Invictus. Without it, you're not going to be able to get very many gunpowder units. Not at any reasonable rate anyway. We have these workers come down here and actually clear that swamp. I think that's, that's more useful than them just running around, building roads. Uh, building roads is very, very useful as well, um, but building cottages is probably more useful. Um, our fleet is constantly seeing barbarians, but that's fine. We're not really that bothered. Um, barbarians are just sort of sailing around, staying away from my coast because our fleet is very scary, uh, which is good. Which is good. I prefer it when the barbarians stay away. Uh, we've got another great person six turns coming up. Probably going to be another artist, um, but you never know. We might we might score a spy at three percent. Um, Crucible steel. The forge, the the forges we've been building everywhere, have now become obsolete. Instead, we can get blast furnaces. Oh yes, we get a free craftsman. We can turn citizens into craftsmen. You can also turn citizens into engineers. And all those things are pretty good. So, yeah, we're going to be building some blast furnaces. We won't just tell our cities to build them above everything else. Um, even though they are a production building. Because they take a long time to build. Uh, they take a lot longer to build than the sawmills. Sawmills are quite quick and they make the craftsmen give more production. Um, so, since we already have access to quite a lot of craftsmen... Um, we can get access to a lot of craftsmen. I'm perfectly fine prioritizing the sawmills. But the blast furnaces are not quite so much. Uh, uh, we have an event. Tea exports to Aztec customers have provided a nice boost to our relations. Okay. Past events have proved your good nature to us. Well, that's funny because with... Are we being the British Empire? Because... It's quite funny, um, well, we're not, well, we must be India because we're exporting tea, but we don't actually have any tea on our continent. Not unless we're making hemp tea, because we've got a lot of hemp. Um, I don't know if you can make tea out of hemp. Um, oh well, it, not that it really matters. Um, something that is rather concerning. Whilst we may have double the points of uh, the Aztecs, it's mostly from population and land. Uh, the Aztecs are currently researching cavalry tactics, which allows them to train cuirassiers, which um, I'm sure those of you that have played Civilization IV know are pretty... they're pretty good. Uh, they're still pretty good in uh, Realism Invictus. Um, yeah, yeah, gotta, gotta love those cuirassiers. One thing I do want to do is go through all my cities and make sure. Alamani, Alamani is actually up to size 12, so I'm going to have that produce great people as well. Um, as much as it can. 
New Sarai just can't build anything. Samarkand can start producing great people, I think. And Aksum, you could do with some great people too. Because you're quite a large city. Sanchu is quite large. Let's build great people. Let's get great people in pretty much all our cities. Because lots of our cities are very big. And can support uh, economies of great people. Uh, where was it? There was another one. Otra, yes. I should have actually just done that manually, but never mind. Let's get more great people. We got a great merchant in Karakorum. We can discover coal mining, but we're researching coal mining, so I think we're going to actually just put him to sleep uh, for a little bit. Don't think we need to settle him. Not for our economy. And apparently our workers wanted to build a fort over that. Um, I'm going to have to make a quick change. Automated workers leave old improvements. Yes, you do. They decided they wanted to build a fort over the sulfur. It's probably because we don't actually have any uses for it right now. I want to just make sure they've not done that anywhere else, which would be a problem. Mm, doesn't look like they have, which is good. So I'd rather they didn't do that, basically. Glass Furnace in Axum, which is actually our most productive city right now. Um, after that, I'd like to build barracks. I don't like that. And since it's our most productive city, I might actually build a siege workshop, but I imagine we're going to get military industry fairly soon. Well, maybe not soon, but soon enough. And I don't think the siege workshop is going to be too useful. And we got coal mining, so we've got coal everywhere as well. Um, we are going to have to manually hook that coal up, though. Got coal there. We've got coal over here. Perfect. We have to remove some of our um, some of our farms to get that coal, but I'm not too bothered with that. And Rome. Let's see, Rome. I'll take some of your gold. Or oh, take some of your maps for gold. I'd like to just keep updated on how everyone's doing. I think Rome's doing very poorly. Alright, let's get that mine up. Uh, coal will make our blast furnaces a lot more productive. Let's get these five workers and put them on trade route and have these three workers come over and build that coal mine over there. Take a few turns to get there, but, you know. Um, we travel across these paved roads pretty quickly. And it still takes quite a few turns. But never mind. Never mind. Uh, we're researching mechanical weapons, which is pretty good, pretty good. Uh, and we keep seeing barbarian ships. We're not gonna, we're not gonna try and get rid of them. We're still trading with Rome, apparently. Once we get navigation, we'll pretty much be able to trade with everyone all the time. So uh, the barbarians won't even make a difference. All right, let's get a coal mine over here, and let's see. Mechanical weapons, here we are. Which enables trebuchets, mobile trebuchets, and fortified keeps. Now the problem is, those mobile trebuchets are going to become outdated pretty quickly. And that's only because we've been advancing our technology towards gunpowder pretty swiftly. Now that we've got all of our architecture and stuff set up. Um, now we've got two stone quarries, so we don't need to build a brick factory. The brick factory is pretty interesting. You can convert coal into stone. Now stone's really handy. If you don't have it by this stage of the game, uh, it's really good that that is a... a, a bleh, bleh, bleh. Sorry, I'm just mixing my words up. It's really good that that is an option, um, that you can convert some of your stone, uh, some of your coal to stone. Uh, paved roads make a huge difference to troop movement before railroads become available. Um, if you don't have iron at this stage of the game, well, I, I guess you're a bit screwed when you get to the railroads anyway. Um, cool, we got a... Uh, Gondar's now finished most of its um, production list. I'm going to have Gondar... Damn, there's a lot of barbarian ships around here, actually. Um, might have to go clear some of them out. Yeah, maybe. Uh, Gondar, what are you looking like? Uh, not too happy, not too healthy. Right, okay. Um, let's grab Jewelers, then let's grab Sento and Agur, then the Blast Furnace, then a Library, 
then a marketplace, a uh, grocer, marketplace, trading house, and then we'll see what it needs after that, but that will do for now. Um, that sulfur may become useful at some point. I think a lot of our workers are now actually just hanging around in Karakorum. And I forgot about our great merchant. What can he bulb? He can bulb clockwork. You know what? It's actually pretty good. Let's bulb clockwork. We can now build clock towers everywhere, which give 10% uh, culture. And also allow you to get another artist. More artists. That's just what we need. More artists. Um, in fact, you can build blast furnace first. So turf out. Yes. Perfect. And we'll clock tower and blast furnace. And let's see, Karakorum. Where's our best place for scientists? Karakorum by a long shot. Um, yeah, definitely. I mean, his CR could be good as well. But I think I think Karakorum's probably better. So we'll build the National University in Karakorum first. Uh, again, very capital centric, um, but since we are running plutocracy, so for the time being that will be the case. And we got black powder, brilliant, good stuff. Uh, massive snowfall has buried a region of our territory near Ninghisia. Uh Organize and send assistance to help them dig out and preserve threatened facilities rather just spend the gold not to lose anything. Now we could upgrade our ships, but I'm not too worried about doing that right now. I'm not too worried at all. Uh, once you finish that courthouse, you need more health. So I would recommend building a centaur than, than a grocer. And I think this city, after building the aqueducts, is going to have to build... Hmm... It might not have to build the Sento straight away. We'll we'll see. We'll see. Now we're getting shipyards. Excellent. Yes. Once we have shipyards, we'll be getting closer to navigation, which means overseas trade. Uh, but we're more interested in see the Americans have only got war galleys by the looks of it, which are exactly the same as our dragon ships. And we're on our way to getting our next type of ship. Uh, in fact, we could upgrade these to um, strength six ships now, but. Uh, we don't really need them, uh, so to speak. Ah, oh, I can build arsenals everywhere. Let's build a clock tower first. Not too bothered about castles. Rome has been captured by the American Empire. And America has now surpassed the Aztecs in, in points. Now, points aren't always the best um, representation of a civilization's power. But it is something to go on. Um, I think I'm going to, in light of that, I'm going to even out these guys um, spying. In fact, I might slightly put more on Theodore. Yeah, I think that's a safe bet. We're not, we're just not sure what America is capable of right now, which is worrying. It is worrying. Uh, since yeah, taking Rome really does put them quite close to us. Can we boost up our tech? We can boost up our tech, or we could lower our tech until we get shipyards in one turn. And then make a crap load of gold. I like that. We have entered the Renaissance. Wonderful. Via shipyards, which is pretty interesting. Uh, the only not so wonderful thing about the Renaissance is now all of our cities are demanding more things, uh, or else they will be very unhappy. So, yeah, we'll have to, uh, we'll now have to sort that out as well. Uh, let's see, what could you do with... An arena will give you at least... One of the ways I generally deal with sorting out, uh, aging up, is to increase culture by another 10%. I think we're going to do that. For the time being, we will probably drop that back down to 10%. Uh, after we've sorted out a few more happiness buildings in these kinds of cities that may need them. Probably a market there as well. I'll try to build an arena, and then you can build a market, because that'll give you another two happiness. In fact, the, the tavern's probably quicker to build, and it's still one happiness. 
Uh, but the arenas now provide two happiness. Uh, if you build those. So I'm kind of, kind of tempted to just leave it at 20% culture. It will help our borders build up as well. 20% culture is quite a lot though. It will it will help keep our people in check. Uh, not in check, but well, keep them happy and not rebelling. Uh, and people that are not unhappy, it's good. It's good stuff. Um, they work more. And working people are useful. Useful people. Uh, let's build shipyards, because shipyards will make our water tiles provide more food. And also, uh, we can build water units faster. Or naval units, I should say, not water units. Um, naval units, certainly. Uh, even Axum can build a shipyard because it is currently working its water tiles. Beshbalik could do with a shipyard. Alamani could do with a shipyard. In fact, you probably build a shipyard first. Inhisia, build a shipyard. Maybe not before the blast furnace, but um, we will certainly look to building those where we can. I think you'll want an arsenal here, actually. And then go back onto wealth. And we discovered Divine Right. We're really just blasting through the technologies now. If we didn't have to have so much um, wealth invested in culture, we'd even get out of it quicker. Um, Karakorum is unfortunately getting some epidemics and losing some population. But that's fine because it will go back up. We are growing quite quickly. And I'm en I'm ending turns quickly, but it's a good job my PC can actually end the turns quite fast, because right now we are just building things. We're just building a lot of things. Um, all of which are useful. <laughs> Don't get me wrong, the more you can build, the better. Um, in some cases it may seem like a bit overkill, but honestly, but building, but just build stuff. Build stuff, because if you don't have it, um, you're just in a worse position. I'm gonna drop my tech to zero percent just to get some gold off the music location being almost done. And uh, now we're getting critical thought. Uh, let's build our tech back up to 30%. Critical thought in eight turns. How fast could we get it? I'm curious, I'm just curious. Four turns. If it was 100%, still four turns. Oh, that's because everyone becomes really unhappy. That's why. Uh, yeah. We're gonna, we, I think we need to keep 20% culture in the Renaissance, because otherwise our cities are just not... They're just not happy at all. Uh, also, I forgot to get that. That's reminded me. I completely forgot to... Um, tell one of our cities, in particular this one, to actually get those whales. We've got whales now! That should keep everyone happy. In fact, does that let me drop it? Ooh! Whales have completely solved our unhappiness issues. Everyone is now satisfied because they have whales. Mm. Feels good, man. And we got another great artist. I'm not sure what to do with this guy. And he can discover dualism, which is completely useless. So what we're going to do is we're going to quickly just go back in the tech tree and grab dualism. We're going to grab polytheism, meditation, ritual, elephant taming, why not? Probably theocracy as well. But if we don't get these, then yeah, our, our artists and stuff are going to try and do all the wrong things. Um, I would rather they didn't do all the wrong things, I'd rather they did the right things. So we're going to sleep him there until we can get all of those technologies researched from the earlier eras. Most cultured. Chaff Commander Coffee. Hmm. Turns are going quite quickly. You know what? I think we're going to have another 100 turn episode. I think this is a fine place to do it. Turns are fast. Um... We're going through a bunch of dud technologies from the early eras. Well, not dud technologies. Well, they are, they are now. I mean, they don't do anything for us. The wonders that are associated to them, uh, with them have already been built, uh, more than, more than likely. So they are pretty. They are pretty useless for us. Uh, meditation is not though. Meditation gives us mona monasticism. Uh, allows us to build uh, monasteries as well. Literally, we've been pagan this entire time. Like religious texts have just been not relevant. 
but I guess now I mean, we can get caste system as well. But that's based on whether you have a religion or not. We're still tribal. We're, we're tr we are a tribal society in the Renaissance era, so you can just deal with that. That's that's just right there is just hilarious. So there you go. The 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 Mongolians can just deal with being tribal. Um, we may need to take action against thieves in Alamanai who are preying upon our farmers. We need that food. Do whatever it takes. Throw gold at the problem, because throwing gold at the problem will solve it. In more cases than not. Let's get a arsenal in a shipyard, or a shipyard first, then an arsenal. Uh, shipyard's pretty good. Pretty good. Not the line. Not the line. Pretty good. Actually, it's still yeah, like like so, like so. New Sarai, you could even do with a shipyard. And then an arsenal, and then go back onto wealth. We got theocracy in one turn as well. Excellent. We don't want a theocracy. Whalers have figured out the migration cycles of the narwhal. They have begun to hunt the male narwhals in a way that does not endanger the long-term survival of the creatures. We can sell the precious tusk for additional profit. Seems good. Narwhal tusks. Who'd have thunk it? Good stuff. Right, we can research heraldry. I'd rather you didn't that's only three turns um, and I'm sure you'll be able to research something much much better in just a short while um, clock tower for culture or university I think we know which one wins there and then we can build a clock tower and see the square perfect Otra is currently becoming unhappy at paces that I would prefer to avoid get a marketplace after that the tavern helps, but it's not good enough. Also, unhealthiness, but what can you do? What can you do? Sometimes, sometimes you just gotta deal with the plague. Let's get a shipyard not to ride. Lighthouse and Kazan. Both those things sound like good ideas. Uh, where's our great artist? What can you research now? Critical thought. You could just finish critical thought. I think we have already research quite a lot of critical thought. Yeah, we've already put a fair amount of research into it. So I think we'll wait until we've researched that as well. Because um, I think we can get Renaissance art after that. I'm fairly sure we can get Renaissance art after, uh, art after doing that. So we'll hold on to him. We'll hold on to him. There's no point wasting him. Uh, build a lighthouse and then a harbour. And then some trade buildings. Trade buildings would be nuts. Maybe a library. Maybe just a library. Let's get a lighthouse, a harbour. Um, caravan house, market, trading post. It's trade buildings. And let's let's review our economy quickly. Ten gold a turn, perfect. Forty percent research. Inflation is still... Inflation has actually gone over 100% now, but um, we're making a lot more from foreign trade. Uh, our work tiles are also improving. I imagine um, all of our towns and stuff have grown. Yeah, they're all towns now, which is great. Um, or most of them are. Um, what we'll find as well is that once we get printing press... Oh yes, printing press. That is going to give us lots and lots of commerce. That gives one commerce in all of these towns and villages. So all these tiles will go up by one. Uh, which overall will give us an extra 20 odd commerce. Which is pretty pretty crazy considering all of the percentages you get on the buildings. Uh, and things like that. Uh, just discovered archery training. Which you actually need to get the arquebuse. So there we go. Uh, once we have the arquebuse. Good stuff. Give us some maps. I'd like to update our maps and see how everything is going. Thank you very much. Sort of a bit of a... Um, I'd say by now it's a bit of a tradition for the Mongolians to just buy maps from the other nations time and time again. Um, so yeah, America took Rome. We'll have to... We'll probably have to take that at some point. Um, still got their colonies down here. Incans are still alive. Sort of. I guess. We could try and vassalize the Incans. 
I don't want to like provoke a war with the Aztecs right now. Especially since the Yeah, especially since the Aztecs are currently getting labor specialization. So they're they're well into the Renaissance. They're actually moving close to the industrial period. But we're catching up. We're catching up at quite an insane pace. In fact, on that note, let's boost our science to 50%. We'll, we'll, we'll drop it first so we get some money out of Archibuse. Wow, we'll drop it all the way to 10%. Get Archibuse. Excellent. Off And then push it all the way back up. That's what it's like being efficient. Just gotta, just gotta make sure you get those, those numbers down. Four turns critical thought. Seems good. Keep on end turns. Just end then turns. Get those, get those techs out. Like, like, we just completely skip plate armor and stuff. We just don't need it. Here we go. Critical thought. Can construct great works renaissance. Hmm. And we can also adopt free religion. Unlimited scientists. 30% culture in all cities. Can acquire holy cities without state religion. One happy per uh, state religion in a city. Or 50% birth rate. I think unlimited scientists sounds pretty good. Unlimited scientists is probably pretty pretty solid. Um, yeah, let's take unlimited scientists. Why not? I mean, we barely have religion to worry about, so I, I suppose we don't really care. Like, and also, it won't affect our uh, our military by being free religion. It's got nothing to do with our military. Whereas pacifism, pacifism affects our ability to field an army, which at the end of the day is not ideal. Um, let's build the GUR. That will just help with the unhealthiness issues, and then build a grocer. Once we get Renaissance art, we'll be able to use that artist. Do we have an artist sitting around? We did. And we can build some Renaissance art. Hmm. Some Renaissance era art. We're getting printing press. Because we don't need to use this guy to bulb him for anything. Because I think he would bulb for printing press. He would. We're just getting technology so fast that we just don't need it. We finally found the Incans. Oh, hey. And the Incans don't want anything to do with us. I'm, I mean, sure. Uh, hey, Incans, would you like some iron? Have some iron. I'm going to give the Romans and the Incans, I'm going to give them iron. And there's a reason for this. Um, a, they don't have it. B, they don't have it. And I would like them to put up more of a fight against the Americans and the Aztecs. So we're going to we're gonna sort of just sort of fuel the wars going on, but from the sidelines. Just like, you know, casually, just like, hey guys, you know, would you like some, would you like some iron, you know? make better swords because you guys are still using swords I mean we, we gave up on war long a long long time ago long, long time ago. we don't do war anymore haha <laughs> that's what we want them to think that's what we want them to think and then once they've got their backs turned we show up with a huge army of, of riflemen and and cannons and conquer them in the in the industrial period excellent that's the plan anyway. So three turns and then we get double entry accounting and I'll tell you, I'll tell you. 20 million people in Mongolia. That's, that's not what I was planning on telling you. But um, yeah. Let's get this huge group of workers. Because we may have use of them. We'll rebuild that farm. Ah, mechanized farms. We'll, we'll get to that in a moment. Double entry accounting will give us access to a new civic. In fact, it's going to give us a access to a civic which we haven't changed yet. First Discover receives a great merchant, which is definitely not us. Uh, we do get extra commerce from our precious mines. We now have access to free commoners. We have our first labor civic that I actually want to use. Workers build improvements faster, which is not that relevant right now. But our cottages, hamlets, and villages burn uh, and our slash and burn farms grow faster not bad craftsmen get more production villages and towns get more commerce and we can spend gold to finish buildings 
or, or just any production, not just buildings. So we're getting free commoners. Yes, we are. We have moved away from tribalism, and it just took us to get halfway through the Renaissance to do it. Seems good, right? Yeah. Good stuff. You're going to be unhappy, so you need walls. That's what you need. Axum, you're going to be unhappy. You're just going to be unhappy, so we're going to have to boost our culture. Sure. We need banks. We need printing presses, but more importantly, we need banks. Printing presses are pretty good, too. But banks, because money, that's something we need. Quite a lot of. Now we're researching cavalry tactics, and we finished Renaissance art. So there we go. Uh, 11 more turns. 11 more turns for the episode. Uh, let's see. One culture to city square in all cities. One culture to castle in all cities. I'm not too bothered about that. 25% golden age length. Yeah, boys. That sounds good. One espionage to university. Hmm. That's actually very interesting. Hmm. Hmm. I'm going to move this great artist down into Tiflis. Uh, one of our centers of culture. We're going to grab Golden Age length. There we go. Let's get Golden Age length. Uh, the reason for this is it, we might be able to build the Taj Mahal. Uh, deer. More deer in Turfan. Mm, more food. Perfect. Uh, let's get Cavalry Tactics. Yeah, let's get Cavalry Tactics. That would be good stuff. Right. We need some more health here. Build a Cento. You can build a library. Let's go to these cities and give them a nice queue of buildings. Let's build a gur. And then a grocery. Yeah, let's do that. Library and then, then some walls. Why don't they obsolete? Military industry. I don't know when we're going to get that. Probably probably fairly soon. They're obsolete, but the happiness bonus. Will the happiness bonus obsolete? Maybe not. I might focus on getting walls in all my cities. Because if the happiness bonus doesn't obsolete, they're actually pretty relevant. Uh, oh, we can build communities. Which gives foreign trade route yield. Ah, they all do their particular bonus, depending on what religion it is. That gives an extra trade route. That's just awesome. Building an Islamic community, for sure. Um, you're going to need walls. I'm going to get walls before they obsolete, and then I'm going to get these communities, because the communities... Yeah, reduce maintenance. That's good. Reduce maintenance. Good stuff. Foreign trade route yield. Good stuff. Yeah, we'll just take all the religions. Yeah, we'll just we'll just have all of them. Free religion. Good stuff. Right, cavalry tactics. We can now get step cuirassiers, hussars, and Asian light infantry, and that kind of thing. What we're more interested in, though, is getting flintlock rifles. Because once we got flintlock rifles, ha ha ha. Ha ha ha. We're going to go all-out warfare. All-out. And by all-out warfare, you're going to see how Chaff Commander Coffee mobilizes a giant nation to complete an utter total war. Yes. And it will be glorious. There is a reason for all this build-up. Of course there is. We've just got to get there. But now that we're in our sort of renaissance, and we really are in our renaissance, we are just blitzing through the technologies. Mind you... The Aztecs are discovering medicine. Uh, where is medicine on the tech tree? It can't be that far ahead. Medicine's all the way over here. <laughs> okay, so they're, they're pretty... They're, to be honest, at the speed that we're, we're researching things, I reckon we will overtake them fairly quickly, especially once we get these banks finished. And in fact, Ninghisia doesn't need to actually build a bank. They take a bloody long time to build, though. They do indeed. That's fine though. We got a great scientist. And we got some food in Old Sarai, which is also good. So, we now have, these are the Renaissance Sciences. Let's see what we can do with them. Plus one science and culture to scientists, as well as 15% science in Target City. Plus one happy from libraries. Is that in all cities? 
If so, that's pretty awesome. Plus one health in all cities. That would be actually really handy right now. And then plus one science from universities, plus one science from observatories, plus one science from schools. You know what? I'm going to take the health in all my cities because that is a massive issue right now. So we completed on the fabric of the human body. Mm. And all of our cities are still unhealthy. I think after getting Flintlock Musket, we may actually have to go for um, for something like medicine. Possibly even biology. Medical science. Ooh, medical science gives us hospitals. Even even possibly go for pharmaceuticals. I think I think that might be a bit far. That might be a bit far, but we'll definitely go for medicine. Definitely go for medicine. Some of our cities became healthy on the cross side. Not very many of them, but some of them did. Um, right. Let's continue to build blast furnaces and other such things. Other other kinds of useful buildings. Let's get walls as well, because otherwise they'll become obsolete, and I'd rather they do. Uh, I'd rather all of our cities have walls prior to them becoming obsolete. Um, yeah, the amount of gold it requires to hurry some of these buildings is just crazy. It's just crazy. Oh, we can build a solar, solar cult community, and then a bank. And then possibly the levee, but I'm not, I'm not too bothered by that. In fact, all of my um, my cities by rivers can build that, can't they? Let's see, have we got any other cities by rivers? Uh, Karakorum's by a river. You could build a levee. Um, I don't think any of these other cities are. Oh, not over here. Um... No, actually, it's, it's actually mostly the cities down here. No, we won't have to worry about them building le levees for a while. Or levees. Levees or levees. Uh, you need some more health. Build uh, build walls, and then... No, no, we'll worry about health later. We'll, we'll worry about health later. We're probably going to have a mass epidemic, but oh well. Right. That was a hundred turns. We are now the most cultured civilization of the world. It's pretty good because we climbed all the way from the bottom. All the way from the bottom after those early years of warfare. Back when Ethiopia was still a thing. Thousands of years ago now. Yeah. It's now 1810. We're still in the Renaissance. <laughs> we're actually at the start of the Renaissance as well. So we're a bit slow. But there you go. What can you do? Um, most cultured. I tell you, that's about to change very soon, though. Well, maybe not that we're the most cultured, but something will change. I'm going to end the turn. We have discovered flintlock muskets. Do you know what that means? That means we're going to train lots and lots of musketeers. Oh, yes. Musketeers. Glorious. Glorious, glorious musketeers. As you can see, we could train step swordsmen, which have six strength, or Asian levee. Or we could just train step handgunners and other such things like that. Uh, I think the musketeers are going to require one more technology. I think they require one more, do they? Uh, to access. Let me see. Requires administration. Why is administ oh, administration's there. And then get merchant inventors, mix their alarm. There we go. Maybe even high seas, high seas warfare. Junk of the line, heavy privateer. Junk of the line can bombard city defenses and cause collateral damage. We're going to need that, and it even requires medicine to get it. So good stuff. That's our tech tree that we're going for. Once we get administration, we can train a crap load of musketeers. That only takes four turns. Then, we're going to think about conquering the rest of the world. Starting with the Romans, because there isn't very many of those left. There's not many Romans left. And after that, the Incans. And after that, then we have some large wars on our hands. 
Oh yes, we've got the Aztecs and the Americans to deal with. And they've been pretty warlike. I think they've been the aggressors in the wars on their continents. But, that will be for another episode. Because I've already done 100 turns and they have been quite quick. But, again, we're just building things. In fact, I will remember to build things here. Let's build a bank. Um, yeah, and obviously building things and not doing any warfare. It's pretty speedy. Like... I don't really need to manage my cities very much, aside from them becoming ridiculously unhealthy, but what can you do about that, eh? I, mean, I can't. I literally, there is there's nothing I can do about it. They, if they grow bigger, they will become unhealthy. Um, but I would rather they grow bigger and become unhealthy than not grow, because as long as they're growing, you get more plots, you work more plots, you get more great people, you know. You have to work more food, but that's something that we can deal with, so it's not that much of an issue. Uh, in fact, what I am going to do is go through every single city I have. We're going to turn our emphasis off of great people and food and place it on production and great people. Before I forget to do this, is very important. And there's there's a good reason for this, and as I said, it's got something to do with musketeers and world conquest. Oh yes, world conquest and musketeers. Let's just quickly cycle through the cities. Everywhere is set to great people in production. That should mean they select a lot of engineers. I think my capital's got like six scientists in it or something crazy like that. Let's take a look at Karakorum. Yeah, I think I think that, that chevron there means that there's six. Well that's pretty crazy. Uh, I won't I won't complain. Six six scientists is pretty pretty funny. Uh, we are gonna drop our tech. because uh, we don't want to lose that much gold. In fact we may want to start making gold. We are definitely gonna want to start making gold. That's all set up, so I don't forget for the next episode. I'll make a mental note to myself. There we go. Right. It's been me, Chaff Commander Coffee. Thanks for watching and putting up with 100 turns this stage in the game. And I'll see you next time. Goodbye.